What's up guys, thanks for tuning in to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about dysphoria, what it is, how it feels, and I'm just gonna to try to relay it to you the best that I can, so stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Also, there's gonna be a giveaway at the end, so you're gonna to wanna to watch that. Here we go. What's up guys? So I think we're just gonna jump right into this one. All right, so the definition of gender dysphoria is the condition of feeling one's emotional and psychological identity as male or female to be opposite to one's biological sex. Dysphoria for me is kind of the result of being transgender. It's the uneasy feeling of looking in the mirror um, and not having it reflect what you'd like to see. In my experience, I usually define it as feeling like a freak or uh, what I like to call Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head, meaning that I'm constantly feel like I need to take away or add things onto my body, like Mr. Potato Head in Toy Story. Whether that's trying different packers, or STPs, or binding techniques, and pretty much doing everything that I can to fill this void of being a man born inside of a woman's body. Now, of course, to my core, I know that I'm not a freak, right? Um, I do my best to kind of counteract those thoughts whenever they come into my mind, but I'm only human, so sometimes it gets really hard to do. I try to counteract these thoughts, but this is kind of just the best way that I can explain to you what it's like to feel dysphoria. From a very young age, I was sheltered. Um, I had a very complicated relationship with the church, which is a conversation for a whole nother video. Pretty much that we don't associate with people who want to have sex changes, meaning um, men that want to be women and I didn't really even know what trans men were at the time, so I didn't, that thought had never come across my mind. And that mindset directly influenced how I treated transgender individuals, um, even to the point that I voted against a GSA club being put in my middle school. What the? I know, I know, but at the time, I thought I was doing the right thing. And in the midst of all that, I was in the middle of praying away uh, my feelings for being attracted to women at the same time. Now, of course, I would never wish this feeling upon my worst enemy to feel like a freak or to feel like a Mr. Potato Head, but it's really the only way that I can convey it to you. Almost every single cis person says the exact same thing when I tell them that I'm transgender. I can't even imagine what that would be like. And the fact of the matter is, it's really hard for someone to be able to understand what it's like without experiencing it for themselves. It's almost impossible to explain, but here's the way that I found that works best. If you're a man and you're watching this video, imagine you were born in the exact same mindset, except for without your equipment and with breasts. If you're a woman and you're watching this video, imagine that you're the exact same person, but with reverse genitalia and a flat chest. Like seriously, think about it. Crazy, right? Being stuck with parts of your body that you feel shouldn't be there. That's what it's like every single day for transgender individuals. Now, it's important to note that not every transgender person experiences dysphoria, uh, but I'd say for the most part, most of the community does. I find different ways to cope with being who I am when I'm having rough days. So I like to play guitar, I'll draw for a little bit, I'll hang out with my girlfriend. Um, I'll just do kind of things that I love to distract my mind away from the pain and frustration that comes along with being trans. Another thing I love to do is to look back at old videos and photos. It blows my mind at my progress and it makes me super, super thankful for where I am. After a while, I kind of learned what triggers me and what situations to try to avoid if possible. Even if it means limiting the exposure that you have with your friends and family that misgender you on purpose. Now I'm blessed to say that my family has come a super long way and the only thing I can credit that to is giving each other enough time to process the information and letting God work in their lives in the meantime. I'd encourage you to keep this in mind when you're talking or thinking about a transgender individual. You gotta remember that you haven't walked in their shoes and you don't really know what it's like to be born in the wrong body. So maybe you know somebody that needs this breakdown. Maybe you know someone who needs a kind of a fresh perspective on it. At the end of the day, we're all humans and we're all here on this planet just trying to do the best that we can to live our best lives. I'd encourage you to open communication on both ends and try to look at it from each other's point of view. Have a respectful conversation instead of defaulting just to arguing. If you happen to be watching this video for the first time, hi, I'm Aaron. I created this channel to kind of be a resource to the transgender community and let them know that they're not alone with what they're going through. And even if you're not transgender, I just kind of want to spread the light on what it's like to be transgender in today's society. Um, and I'm just here to help, really. So if you have any questions, drop them below. But you can always message me at any time and I'll be there to help. Boom, it's giveaway time. So if you're watching this and you suffer from gender dysphoria or binding in general is kind of a hard situation for you, I decided this would be an excellent opportunity to be able to give back to the community. So if you're watching this and you suffer from top dysphoria, if you're watching this and you hate binding with binders, um, there's an alternate solution uh, called trans tape. 
and trans tape is kind of like KT tape except for it's cheaper, it's designed for the trans body, they sell products that will help with removal um, of the tape as well as healing salves and stuff. Solves, is that how you say it? I don't know. Pretty much they're an awesome company that I started working with um, and I want to give some away so it doesn't matter um, you know who you are or where you're from I want you to be able to enter this giveaway so here's what I want you to do first I want to make sure you're subscribed to my channel so make sure you smash the subscribe button so you can stay tuned for my next videos second go ahead and give this video a thumbs up third drop a comment and let us know what your absolute best way to cope with dysphoria is I want to know what kind of tips and tricks you're using to make sure you're staying with a positive mindset and maybe your comment that you drop will help somebody else so one, subscribe. Two, like the video. Three, drop a comment and let me know how you fight this for you. The winner of the giveaway will be announced three weeks from today. The winner of the giveaway will receive a care package of trans products, um, including the tape that goes across your chest, the packing tape, um, which you can check out in this video, the removal oil as well, so that way you can make sure you're taking it off safely and everything like that. Subscribe, like, drop a comment, let me know, and we will set you up with some trans tape baby thank you for watching this video i appreciate it you guys you are loved hope you guys are having a great day stay tuned love you